Hey everybody, welcome back. We are getting ready. I can't talk anymore. We are getting ready to react to Ozark. Got to get this one in so that I've got something for y'all this week. Otherwise, you won't have anything for Wednesday. But we are getting this watched and then doing my meal prep and then hopefully uh, at least putting a tree with lights up. Um, behind me, um, it'll be the first tree since the ferals have been in the house, or been in the main part of the house. I think I had it up the year that they were in the basement, but we're going to have to see how that goes and experiment. I'm not going to put any ornaments on the tree this year just because I, I don't know if the ferals are going to try climbing in the tree and all that kind of stuff. So this will be a test run and kind of go from there. Plus, it'll be a different view for you all because the tree will be right there. We're going to move the cat tree. Ozark, let's get into that. The last things that we saw, we've got the FBI breaking in, not breaking in, but um, going into the house. And I think it was a no-knock search warrant. And I'm assuming they're looking for the blue bag. And hopefully Marty was paranoid enough to move everything uh, because Wendy was getting paranoid about stuff and she was pointing out some stuff that she was seeing. So we'll see. Hopefully she was paranoid enough, though. It seems like Rachel is turning on Marty. I don't know if it's because she doesn't want to protect him. Sorry, getting situated. Um, I don't know if it was because she doesn't love him anymore, but I think it's uh, more Petty. What's his first name? I forget his first name. But Petty basically threatened her life, said if she doesn't do it, he's going to kill her. If that comes out uh, in court, the whole investigation is done for. So he's not a very smart agent. So. <laughs> We'll have to see how it goes, though. I mean, we've got two more seasons after this, I think. So I think Kane or Cade is the one that's still um, having everything shut down. I don't think it was the government doing that, but it might have been. Them getting to the guy that the auditor might have been the hint that they're the ones that shut down everything. So we'll have to see. And Wendy even said that she thinks the FBI are the ones that shut everything down. So maybe, but I still think Kate is behind something of it because he didn't like not getting the job from Marty, the job. What's her name? Rita? Is it Rita? That doesn't sound right for some reason. She's kind of given Rachel the information that got the search warrant. I don't know if she's tired of being the grunt. Um, and that's why Ruth, Ruth is her name. Um, I don't know if she's tired of being the grunt. And that's why she gave information to Rachel. Of course, she didn't know that Rachel was bugged, but she knows that the FBI are after Marty. So. Who knows? She's also sick of being the grunt for Cade or Kane. And she didn't understand the reasoning that Marty gave for not having her look like the manager. They put the the real estate agent, the mama's boy, as being in charge. We haven't seen much about the kids. Buddy is kind of on his last breath. Um, he's about ready to kick the bucket. I kind of like him. I wish we got to keep him around, but we're not going to get to do that. So I he'll die by the end episode for sure. And uh, we haven't had much of Mason or Quinn. I'm mixing his name up with uh, Mason Quinn from Bad Medicine. So <laughs> that's why I keep calling him Mason. But his name is Quinn. So... Yeah, sorry about that. We haven't had much about him other than he just wants to get even with Marty and Wendy and everybody. 
The Schnells didn't have much of them in the last episode, I don't think. Uh, Darlene wants a baby, and that's about the most that we've gotten from them, uh, the last we heard from them, right? So I th- I think that catches us up. Let's go ahead and get into this episode uh, so I can get all my other stuff done. <laughs> and this episode is called Game Day, episode five. There's ten in an epi- in a season. Yeah. So we still have a ways to go. What are we breaking ground on? This isn't the casino, is it? Is this the Smells property? You know what that is right there? Yeah. That is plug ugly. This was a place of great natural beauty. The birds used to nest in the I have to agree there. with her on that one. Herons. And our family will benefit. The family? Uh-huh. What family? Is he agreeing to have a baby with her? No, still searching the house. All right. I'm crossing my fingers that Marty was smart. Buddy's bed is made. I thought they broke in while he was, well, everybody was sleeping. Go get Petty. Found the daughter's money. So Charlotte's money is found. Oh, look at him looking smug. Your tail's in the way. We're not seeing Purdy because she's laying on the bathroom floor where it's nice and warm. <laughs> if she's not in my lab, that's where she's at. Schnells are bringing them a present for the son. Call that lawyer. Have him meet me there. Mm-hmm. Hope they've got a good one. All right. What do we have? We've got the lunchbox of money, which we've already seen. We've got some headphones. Is that a lighter? I guess a type of lighter. And then some zip cuffs. I don't know what they're actually called, but that's what I call them. Are you thinking that I know more than I did five seconds ago? You you wouldn't think they would come, they wouldn't arrest us, would they? Why, you got child pornography on your computer or something? Okay, that's not funny. (laughs) What do you call it? Probable cause. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And they don't have that. They've got probable cause yeah, with the money that Charlotte had. What are you doing in the safe? Looking for the ham sandwich I left. <laughs> I do like Ruth's sarcasm. Well, how about I pop those tits and squeeze out the silicone? How do you feel about that? <laughs> so he's hooking up with money. the help. Your family is safe. Is my Agents lawyer here right yet? Now, ready to take Wendy and the kids right into protective custody. Is that a makeshift FBI <laughs> office? Is it um, Navarro's attorney? Here. Yep. That everything, everything that's happened was making you feel like you were growing up too fast. Well, grow the fuck up. Uh oh. Do you understand? Mama's pissed. People skills, Marty. Judgment. Your bosses, they need to trust you. To Petty doesn't have together, people so it skills. Not topple over. And yet, what if you stay here with me, where it's safe? We can order in lunch. So they didn't find the other stuff, just the 5000 of money. Now you got to check the house for bugs. As our Jewish brethren say, to life. Lachan. I can't do the lachan. Here we go. It's like salute. <clears throat> and very sick, lungs and ticker all going, and he was stuck in bed. And this guy's a loner all his life. Sounds like Buddy. Lady. Don't like your deer head, Jonah? I created two shell companies like Dad's. The money's safe. Ah, it hopefully there are no mics in his room. I can't. But I He's got plans. But the money's tied up, Charlotte. Wouldn't that be good, Wally? Yes, sir. He's trying to create a family. Would you excuse us for a minute, boy? Yes, ma'am. He didn't look comfortable. If he likes us and we like him, then maybe we could adopt. So please. Keep I think he's going to put his foot down with her one too many times. And they don't care much for local law enforcement. What are you saying? 
He can't protect you. I'm saying you. that if the feds decide to come around here, there's not much I can do. That boy on the porch, his name is Willie. Wally. On your way out. Take him with you. Run him back down where he came from. I'm sorry, do you understand that? Yeah, I understand that. Treading on thin ice. But it seems like the only thing they found was that money. Your computers. Well, as a parent, I find that implausible. Kids see things, they hear things. I was what gonna say, she knows he's this lying. About my kids. They can't kill him right now. If they kill him, it'll make everything look even more guilty. I'd say we have a problem with their crop of opium poppies. Do you agree? I agree. She's gonna tell him to break the ties? Office, I can see if there's a warrant pulled. Because if the FBI find our puppies, then our casino is dead. And if our casino is dead... Arrangements will have to be made. I wish you'd stop saying that. Well, I really wish I didn't have to. <laughs> I'm still wondering if she is actually Navarro. Hey, what would you do if he went down? I haven't thought that far. Or is she wondering if she'd burn everybody she's down with her? Right. The expression on Marty's face was priceless. But you guys have nothing Maybe. on him. If I hadn't bounced on your psyche, though, you wouldn't have a job right now. You know oh, so now we know how he's You're a been queen. kept a officer. A queen. I know, I yelled at her. Oh, did you? That's great. Well, problem solved, I guess. <laughs> are you Sarcasm me? was not good in that no. situation. No, I'm just, you know, sorry. At least he apologized. That's good. Probably outlive all of us. Is Jonah in his room? She's probably not wrong about that. All right, that's it. Thanks. Technically, Jonah didn't do anything wrong. How about a double murder, for starters? You know, I just got to ask you. What force Does he do you have think proof you're messing with when a double murder is the least of your problems? Third option is, I do nothing, and the cartel kills you. Today, probably. They kill you. I don't think they're going to kill her. Cousins. I told him how you tried to kill him, how you wired his dock. So... She's trying to split them, but I don't think I she's going to roll. Obvious. He doesn't have enough to arrest her for murder. Hopefully Ruth knows that. Now, are they going to come in and talk to her, or are they just going to sit and watch? They're still sitting there. We made a deal with you people. Now, it wasn't easy. Are we going to get her shot in the head, too? From a deal is a deal. Ourselves, it would cause a war. Then fucking mm -hmm. get them to change their minds. Yeah. Because they a may war they don't want to take. Get this. What else would you like to do? I don't know. I don't know. Crickets. Hey, Ruth. You know I didn't talk to them, right? Oh, Ruth. Not over the phone. Oh, or Marty. I listen to Ruthie. Not over the phone. I'm going to call you later. Don't be stupid, Ruth. The car's still there. I have my contact sense. I can see. I just can't see anything up close. <laughs> Okay, not being stupid yet. This is an ethics violation. Well, you want to hit me, Marty? It'd be a pretty bad idea, don't you think? Marty, Glad okay. he's calling him out on the ethics. Because if you really want to do them a favor, and by Marty's them, getting pissed. Fucking lives. Why would you save that video? It is a good question. He shouldn't have saved it. As soon as the confrontation happened, he should have deleted it. But it's still no proof of anything. What's it look like? Getting the hell out of Dodge. What? You're packing. Where are you going? Best you not know. Are those Mexicans mm -hmm. are stupid enough to come here half cock will take them out. Bim bam boom. They're smart enough to study things. Seems like nobody wants to give them any credit at all. Even the hillbillies and the rednecks. That Wendy? Marty. Glad well, I won't have to see that. <laughs> Played flag football. Ran to the wrong goal. So, they're saying they got to get rid of the poppy fields, but everybody knows that they sell the opium honey, which opium honey seems to be le legal from what I can see. So, do they really need to burn the fields? Can't we go back to that? And they're turning the labs inside out so that the labs aren't obvious. We can do the, we can blame it all on the honey, right? Is that petty again? I'd say we have a problem, wouldn't you? 
But you don't. Seriously? Really? Stand up for her, Marty. Get out of there. Close the door. Is Wendy going to tell them everything that's going on? Oh, Charlotte heard everything. It sounded like Wendy. What do you think is going to happen? I she didn't know. say the other part about Ruth trying to kill him. How much does it cost? Oh, is he going to give in? I remember that type of cookware. It's kind of mesmerizing, isn't it? With the parsley and Wendy. See, we need Buddy. We need him to stay alive. He keeps everybody functioning. But he thinks too much. He's got to act. Now so talking to Wendy about acting, huh? Is she going to go and burn down the opioid, uh, the poppy fields? Ah, there's the zip cuffs. I hope they don't do anything to her. That's Wendy going to the snails. So, is she going to tell them that she'll get them the baby? She's not letting it open. <laughs> Break the gates down. He's going to burn the fields while she talks to Darlene. Pouring gas on her. Or is it just water? It's just water. Waterboarding is not fun. Where is uh, Jacob? Couldn't remember his first name. Are we going to lose Buddy? Is that flammable? Oh, that is. I know what that is. He's going to die trying to get this done. I see. So he wasn't banking on the, the liquid to go with the fertilizer as being flammable. Just making room in the tank. But he didn't close the valve back. I'm surprised he doesn't tell them that he doesn't trust Dad. <laughs> get Dad out of the way. Although Ruth wouldn't forgive him. He's having too much fun. Ah, is that the lighter? Yep. Ah, it's flare. I don't think I've ever seen the cap on a flare before. I think that'll do it. But now we need the fire trucks. Better hurry and get out of there, buddy. We've started a war. Is going? To, is Marty going to encourage her to get out of the business with him? I think we're at the end, aren't we? This has very, been very climatic episode halfway through so I, can, I would expect this to be the end ah yep so i realized at one point i wasn't saying anything at all i was just kind of in it sometimes it's hard to remember to react and as you all know i don't always show it on my face and so that's why i talk so much that and also to show that it is a reaction video not just us watching the show together so <laughs> Because as you can, as, as you might have seen in some clips, I, a lot of clips, I was trying to think of how often it happens. I've got rest, resting bitch faces. So. <laughs> so you can't always tell what's going on in my head. But um, very interesting. I wonder if he's going to tell Ruth to get out of the business break ties with her to try to protect her she did kind of protect him and she's kind of already in it so is there any point in try, trying to break ties but I know he felt bad because even though she did try to kill him he also knows that she killed her uncles for him so it you know he's got that bittersweet feeling for her I still think and I'm wondering and believe and whatever else you want to call it that that attorney I think is Navarro. I think the the name is just kind of a cover or or the name might be real but I mean she's wielding a lot of power and she seems to make decisions without checking in at all. So it makes me think that she has more power than most attorneys would have. So at any rate, that's my thoughts on this episode. The kids may try to run off because they're scared. Uh, but if they do that, then it's possible the cartel will end up getting involved with the kids. And so that wouldn't be smart, but we'll have to see. The other thing is 
Buddy's kind of on his last leg. We've got the war that's being started since they burned the fields. It's definitely going to form a war because the Snells are going to know who did it. And Wendy's probably their top target because Wendy's the one who distracted. But it could be that the cops do go in and try to raid the place and don't find the poppy fields because they were burned. So it may work out in everybody's favor in the end and the Snells forgive them. But um, it's hard to say. So, okay, I think that's it. (laughs) I'm going to do some meal prep. And then try to put up a Christmas tree and go from there. So thank you all for joining me on this one. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.